The God of peace grant us a quiet night and a perfect end. Amen. Our help is in the name of the Lord, the maker of heaven and earth. The angels of God guard us through the night and quiet the powers of darkness. The Spirit of God be our guide to lead us to peace and to glory. It is but lost labor that we haste to rise up early and so late take our rest and eat the bread of anxiety. For those beloved of God are given gifts even while they sleep. We have wounded your love. O oh God, heal us. We stumble in the darkness. Light of the world, transfigure us. We forget that we are your home. Spirit of God, dwell in us. Eternal Spirit, living God, in whom we live and move and have our being, all that we are, have been, and shall be, is known to you. In the very secret of our hearts, you know all that rises to trouble us. Living flame, burn into us. Cleansing wind, blow through us. Fountain of water, well up within us that we may love and praise in deed and in truth. Amen. Psalm 23. The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not be in want. He makes me lie down in green pastures and leads me beside still waters. He revives my soul and guides me along right pathways for his name's sake. Though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I shall fear no evil, for you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. You spread a table before me in the presence of those who trouble me. You have anointed my head with oil, and my cup is running over. Surely your goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Glory to God, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen.
reading from Paul's second letter to the Corinthians. It is the God who said, let light shine out of darkness, who has shone in our hearts to give the light of the knowledge of the glory of God in the face of Jesus Christ. But we have this treasure in clay jars so that it may be made clear that this extraordinary power belongs to God and does not come from us. We are afflicted in every way, but not crushed, perplexed, but not driven to despair, persecuted, but not forsaken, struck down, but not destroyed, always carrying in the body the death of Jesus, so that the life of Jesus may also be made visible in our bodies. Thanks be to God. Into your hands, O God, I commend my spirit, for you have redeemed me, O God, of truth and love. Keep us, O God, as the apple of your eye. Hide us under the shadow of your wings. Preserve us, O God, waking, and guard us sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep we may rest in peace. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Lord, now you let your servant go in peace. Your word has been fulfilled. My own eyes have seen the salvation which you have prepared in the sight of every people, a light to reveal you to the nations and the glory of your people Israel. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and will be forever. Amen. Preserve us, O God, waking, and guard us sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep we may rest in peace. Alleluia. 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 Lord, it is night. The night is for stillness. Let us be still in the presence of God. It is night after a long day. What has been done has been done. What has not been done has not been done. Let it be. The night is dark. Let our fears of the darkness of the world and of our own lives rest in you. The night is quiet. Let the quietness of your peace enfold us, all dear to us, and all who have no peace. The night heralds the dawn. Let us look expectantly to a new day, new joys, new possibilities. In your name we pray. Amen. Come, O Spirit of God, and make within us your dwelling place and home. May our darkness be dispelled by your light and our troubles calmed by your peace. May all evils be redeemed by your love, all pain transformed through the suffering of Christ, and all dying glorified by his risen life. Amen. O God, your unfailing providence sustains the earth 
which nurtures us and the life we live. Watch over those both night and day who work while others sleep and grant that we may never forget that our common life depends upon each other's toil. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Look down, O God, from your heavenly throne and illumine this night with your celestial brightness, that by night as by day your people may glorify your holy name. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. I will lie down in peace and take my rest, for it is in God alone that I dwell unafraid. May God's name be praised beyond the furthest star, glorified and exalted above all forever. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. May the peace of God which passes all understanding keep our hearts and minds in Christ Jesus. Amen. <laughs>